So we just pulled in to the spot where we came to look at a trailer just the other day. And we were expecting to be able to come and pick up the trailer all the way next week on Friday. But we got the call midday today to be able to come and pick up the trailer today, which is super exciting. Our kids are over the moon excited about this project. And so we can't wait to get this home. So we're gonna hook up the truck, get everything set up to be able to drive this home and then get it home where it's safe and sound. days ago we came to see a trailer that we were looking at coming to pick up to be able to do a complete reno to be able to do some traveling with our family and we were really excited because when we got here it was the perfect trailer for us we've been looking for quite some time and I was really excited when we got to come take a look that it was really everything we were looking for it needs some minor repairs and a lot of cosmetic love but I know that that's exactly the kind of project we were looking for best of all we were able to get a great deal on this trailer and so we're gonna be working on this over the next couple of weeks we got the call midday today to be able to come and pick it up about a week earlier than planned. So we were really excited. We hopped on some of our warm woolies and came out in the cold to come pick up the trailer so we could get it home to our own driveway. that we just were able to pull our camper home. We had about a half an hour drop. Gutter's excited about the camper. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to do some stuff on the camper today. We want to get started on this camping project right away. And we have a couple more days before we were even planning on getting the camper. So we're actually a few days ahead of schedule. And so what we're going to do today is remove some of the really awful linens that are hanging in the windows and on the beds and any fabrics that are in there. And we're going to take out a bunch of the items that we actually aren't going to keep in the layout of the camper. We're going to do a full complete renovation inside and out. So we're going to get some of the prep work done for that so that we can already start painting and doing some of the renovation come weekend time and so we're actually just out here with our pup gunner who's enjoying exploring the new camper we're gonna have to get him some kind of extended lead so he can kind of roam around the camper while we're working because he likes to be out here with us and so what we're going to do is get some of the stuff in the camper cleaned up and remove some of the things that we don't want let's get started one of the camper wheel wells was actually off of the trailer and it was on only on the other side and so Philip's putting this one back on because we want to be able to give the trailer a really good power wash today the sun is trying to peek through and so it's kind of the perfect day to be able to get the outside nice and clean and then we're going to start working on some of the prep on the inside so we're going to use the power washer to be able to get all this black stuff hopefully off of the trailer there's a lot of stuff that needs to be taken off but we think that just an initial power wash will actually clean it up just to get us a good start because we are going to be scuff sanding and painting and removing all of this stuff before we get painting later on in the week but just a good power wash is going to give us a good head start to see more of camper makeover videos. <laughs> We have about a two person sleeping spot in the back of the camper here, as well as a pull out couch. And so what we wanna do is be able to add another spot for sleeping because we have two boys who are growing every day and they're gonna want their own spots to sleep and stretch out if we're camping. And so we ideally need spot for four people to be able to sleep. So we wanna be able to transform uh, and actually have an eating area in the kitchen because some point someone has taken out probably the bench at the double bench and table that would have folded out maybe in this spot and so what we want to do is create an option to be able to do that again so that one of our children can sleep at night in this area but also by day have an eating spot for the four of us to sit at and eat and maybe play board games or something in the camper and so this is definitely getting taken out so we're going to actually remove this today and then make this space kind of accessible so we can stare at it for a few days and figure out exactly how we want to do this area the kitchen is going to get a complete overhaul it is actually really really good the stove inside doesn't look like it's ever been used it's just really dusty and so i'm really happy with the fact that we're going to have something to be able to toast things while we're in the camper and then the actual stove top is just really dirty and it needs obviously some love so we're definitely going to be taking out the stove to be able to do some maintenance stuff on this get it really cleaned up probably give it a really good paint job as well as the upper fan we have a huge fridge in this camper which i absolutely love because when you're camping you don't want to be going to stores all the time you want to be able to take the cold stuff with you especially with a family of four and a pet so i love that we have a nice big fridge so it needs a really good cleaning so again we're going to remove this out of the camper and i'm going to do an overhaul on it and paint it and get it kind of looking the way that we want it also has a freezer on the top which is awesome to throw some extra stuff in and then we are planning i think to cut the kitchen off here 
and be able to remove this top here because we're actually going to do different countertops in the kitchen all together. So we're going to remove this today. I think we're probably going to get to that, get that all out of here. We ideally today want to remove all the stuff out of the camper that we don't want to be in here to change the layout. And then we are going to keep, I think, the upper cabinets here and along the top. They're going to get an overhaul. And I believe we're going to take out this upper cabinetry spot right here. We want to add some height here where we're going to have the seating area and really have as much light come in this window space as possible because how nice to have breakfast and eat here with all the sunshine coming in. So we're going to probably take this section out. I want to have some other storage options in the camper. And so I'm going to use my creativity to come up with some other storage options that aren't just this overhead cabinetry, which I think takes that headroom and the spaciousness out of the camper. So then when we're heading down on this side, across from where we have a couch, this couch actually folds right out. Oh, there. Oh, so easy. Ha, there you go. Keep pulling. This Keep actually pulling. folds out to be a bed. And so this is going to get totally reupholstered. And then what I'm going to do is do some additional stuff on this. So this is a much more comfy sleeping space. But I, underneath is our fresh water tank that we have here that we can refill. And so I can't change really the structure of this without you know compromising the integrity of that, which we obviously need. And so this is just gonna get a complete overhaul. Oh, first time in the new camper. <laughs> um, and then we obviously have this beautiful one-of-a-kind drapery in the, in the camper that's definitely going to go. And we have some brown framing and some textured wallpaper and just this all is going to get remodeled. So I'm so excited. My creative juices are flowing and I'm just really excited to get tackling some of the cosmetic stuff, but I know I need to do the building and repair first. So on this side of the camper, across from the couch here, we're going to remove this cabinetry that's here. We don't need this. It's kind of a waste of useful space for us. So what we're thinking we're going to do is build sort of like a little L-shaped sectional here that's not really as deep as a pull-out bed, but it's a sitting area that can stay there all the time. And then what we can do is just have like pillows and comfy things or if we're just hanging out in the camper. Um, and then also if we wanna do some work while we're traveling, you know, kind of do some video editing or something, we'll have a nice cozy spot to be able to do that. This mirror is gonna go because I have a different idea for what I'm going to do on this wall. And we also have some cabinetry here which is awesome. And I'm definitely gonna leave this here because it's perfect to be able to hang stuff up when we're in the camper. And I just think it's a really nice spot. It doesn't really take up any floor space because it's connected to the bathroom, which has a scraping mirror. And when you open it up, we actually have sort of a sit down shower tub, some glamorous wallpaper from the eighties, uh, sink, faucet, vanity, and toilet. And so everything in here is working and it's actually in really good condition. It just needs a complete overhaul. So we're gonna be doing a whole transformation on the bathroom, which I'm actually excited about because the bathroom in our house, I've been waiting to do a renovation on. And so I have a few ideas already that I think actually I might end up using in here and waiting to do stuff inside. So, and then all the linens that are in here, super old. So they're all gonna go today. And we have in here a double person sleeping space with some storage underneath. And so the storage is going to stay and get an overhaul. And we're going to be putting in like new foam, new mattress, upholster, everything, fancy bedding, you know, all the stuff you wanna have for the comfort in the camper. And we're gonna be taking down the cabinet that's actually here. I actually get claustrophobic very easily and just having this in this space will absolutely make me bonkers to sleep in here, so even if my head's on this end. And so this is gonna go and then we're going to be able to do some other storage options instead of this bulky unit that's just kind of floating in this space. And so this is going to be where Philip and I will sleep and then the boys will both have spots outside in the camper as well as Gunnar, our Bassett. Where are you going? Do you have a new camper? Because we will be taking him camping with us. So I'm really looking forward to this. So right now we're going to start taking down the drapery, any linens, fabric stuff, pulling out the foam, and then we're gonna to get to removing some of the bulkier items so that we can get those out of here. And then we have glamorous two-tone flooring. Someone decided it was a great idea to do two different colors of flooring in here. And although it is newer, I can't live with it this way. I absolutely have to change this. And so I think what we're gonna do is actually remove this and put down other flooring rather than laying it on top. Because what we're going to do is taking out this other cabinetry, the original flooring will be lower underneath. So we're best just to take it all out and then be able to put down what we actually want. So I'm thinking even different flooring in the kitchen area than in the rest of the camper. So let me know what you think of that idea. Let's get started. Originally in this camper, there would have been a little clock that would have sat right in the middle here. So now I'm gonna have my eye out for a smaller version of the Starburst Finch's clock so I can have one in my camper. 
they didn't want this to go anywhere. <laughs> Right to the trailer. Right to the trailer. Right to the trailer. Throw her in there. Woo! You know I like to repurpose things, but that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> They're so gross. <laughs> How's it attached? <laughs> Shaking the camera's not gonna do it. We took down the cabinet that was in this little bedroom side, so that really opened it up. So I already feel a thousand times less claustrophobic in here, knowing that that's taken out. So I'm really happy we got that down. And it didn't actually like do anything for damage or anything to the side walls. We were able to get it down. I say we, I mean Philip. He was able to get that down while I worked on getting a whole bunch of random hooks out of the trailer. And so this is actually a really neat runner that just lets the fabric be able to go across. And since I'll be making my own curtain or some type of thing to be able to pull across here. Um, I actually want to be able to keep these tabs so that I can just then put my fabric back on. And what they've done is they've just stitched the fabric to it so it actually runs really smoothly. So I may end up taking this down so that I can actually paint the runner or do different things with it. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I'm going to leave all these up there in the, me in the meantime. So I'm going to take all this off because I don't want the fabric anymore. And it looks like this side is just all velcro to the wall. We just removed this whole upper section where this eating area is going to be. So it really opened up the whole feel of this end of the trailer, which is pretty awesome. And then we just found where all the wiring and everything connects all the floor there and a good spot for us to start tearing up where the floor is. And then I also have been removing all of the random nails and screws that are all over this entire camper and took out all of the linens and everything that are in here as well as in the bathroom. And then we're just about to get started taking out this area here. And I think even that upper part right there too, just to open up the whole floor plan. We want to keep these pieces because they're pretty nice if we have to do like patchwork somewhere it's really nice light wood perfect put and, it in the keep pile and the hardware too <laughs> all the hardware check out this awesome hardware i'm really excited because there's a lot of hardware in this place and so i'm really happy that we can actually save on costs and not replacing any of the hardware i might change the color of it i'm not really sure yet but it's all intact and we're not missing any pieces and because we're taking out a couple of these cabinets, we're actually going to have a little baggie full of extras that we'll be able to use if we find that any are missing or broken that we haven't noticed. It's always great to have extra hardware on hand. We're keeping all the wiring intact. That way, if we want to change the lighting after, we'll just be able to rewire it. So we're going to be taking the cabinets down, but leaving all of that lighting stuff all set up so that we still have it for later. We now have this whole section open and all of that furniture that was in here is all out, which is really nice because then we'll be able to build our sectional on this side. The boxes at the bottom there is where the wheel well is and that won't interfere with our plans for that area. So that's actually perfect just to leave it the way that it is. We now have a pile of items that we've taken out of the camper and it was definitely supposed to be our camper because we found this E cutout inside the camper. Are you sure the two-tone's got to go? Oh, yes. Oh. No turning back now? No turning back now. Nope. I'm really glad we pulled that up though because we realized that although the floor was brand new on top, it was really bad underneath. This isn't even attached. And all that stuff underneath needs to get sucked out and we need to put a new subfloor down to make sure that we do this right because I don't want to put new flooring on top of this crappy subfloor so we're going to be getting all this up I can't believe like this stuff is not even attached to the trailer they just put all of that hardwood and it's because they weren't planning on traveling with this camper it was just parked in a permanent location so they didn't care how heavy this flooring was that they were putting down so this is like so much weight even just carrying a couple of pieces in my hands to get them to the trailer 
you can really tell how heavy this real hardwood is. It's so thick. This is like the thickest flooring and it's really down there. So we're prying it all up and uh, a little bit of elbow grease will get a perfectly good floor in here first before you put down the floor and that will be lighter weight and be more practical for our family on the floor. You can see on the floor over there that they actually had one of the retractable tables. You can see the hole for the post and there's actually a second hole. So I'm not really sure why they would have taken out perfectly good, probably banquet seating with the table there in the kitchen, but we're definitely going to be putting in something like that in that area. So at least we know it would fit in that area well. So we've been working on the trailer for about eight hours and we're actually running out of daylight. We got a little carried away trying to get everything out today, but we were on a roll and things were going really good. And so I wanna give you a little tour of everything that we got done today. Don't worry, this isn't the final reveal, but we're getting stuff done and taken out that we don't want in here. So what we're going to do is show you kind of what we do with the floor and all the things that we took out to get us started. So we are just working right now on the flooring and getting all the really heavy hardwood that someone put in out. And so what we're going to do is once we get all the actual flooring up, we're going to remove the subfloor and put in some more joists on the floor here and make sure that all the stuff is out. Basically going to be building and making this a way better and sturdier floor. So this will last us for a long time. So this stuff's going to be getting out of here and we're almost done taking out the flooring. So we kind of ran out of muscle for the rest of today. It was really hard to get this up. So, we are now going to get the rest of this out here. And then in the kitchen, we actually removed all of the upper cabinets that were here, as well as the little table that they had built along the wall here, which kind of was temporary. It wasn't even really that attached to the wall, surprisingly. But remember, this wasn't a traveling camper. This was always parked. So it's a lot of things in here that just aren't really how you would have had it if you were actually camping and moving around with it. And so we still need to remove this portion of the counter here because we're going to be making this our seating area. We got a lot of hooks and just randomness that was all over the walls. So we'd have a lot of little putty holes to fill. And then over here against the seating area, we took out all of the valances and all of the window treatments, linens, all the upper cabinetry, as well as any of the furnishings that were all along the bottom here, because this is going to be our comfy sectional area. So we're going to definitely want to make this more open. So taking that top thing, I was going to give us extra headspace and just a more open feel in the camper, which I'm actually loving already. We both bogged our heads on a few things today, just trying to get stuff out. So bye bye old balances. And then we also removed the linens that were here, but kept the runner so we can put on new fabric. And then we took out any linens or temporary things that were in the bathroom. So definitely still some things to come out of the bathroom, but I want to get the rest of the flooring up before I start taking anything else down in there. And then in the bedroom area, we were able to remove all the window treatment balances and boxes that were built in all along the top and the big cabinet that was sort of floating, making the space feel a lot smaller. So we got a lot done today on our first day prepping the camper. And so later this week, we're going to be going to get the supplies that we need to start doing the painting and some of the actual like renovations in this space. And so I'm so excited to get to that point. But there's a lot of hard work that goes into it, this type of renovation before you even get to the fun part. But we are actually having fun already getting stuff ripped out. <laughs> Who knew ripping up flooring was so much fun? So yeah, that's what we got accomplished today. We've been out here working so long today that it feels like the seasons have changed. It's now raining and snowing at the same time. So we're gonna call it a day. Thank you so much for watching our episode two. If you missed episode one, I'll put it in the card for you above. We're gonna be doing lots more content on the transformation of this trailer. So if you wanna see more of the content that we're doing here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss any of this content. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next project.